In this lesson, we're going to start actually working in Excel. And we're going to begin in this lesson by taking a look at some of the rules and quirks of entering in text, numbers and dates into cells because there's some really important things that you need to know here. So we're still working in our product sales worksheet, but notice that I've removed all of the data that I had in here previously. So in cell B4, we're going to start by entering in an order number. Now to start typing into cells, all we need to do is basically click on the cell and start typing. So I'm going to enter in my order number ORD-0001. Once you've finished entering in your information, you have a couple of different options. If you then want to move across to the order date column, you can press the tab key and it will move you straight across. Otherwise, if you press enter, it's going to move you to the cell below. Now, if I now wanted to go in and maybe make an amendment to what I have in this cell, I can either double click to go into edit mode. You can see my cursor is now there and I can make changes like so. Or alternatively, we can press the F2 key. That's also going to put us into edit mode and we can go in and make whatever changes we need to make. Now, if I'm in edit mode and I don't want to tab across to the next cell and I don't want to go to the cell below, maybe instead I want to stay in the cell that I'm working in. We can press control enter. It will take us out of edit mode, but keep us in the same cell. So that's another really handy little shortcut. Now I am going to press tab to go across to the order date column. So I'm currently working in cell C4. Remember, we can see that in the name box. Now, when it comes to entering dates into cells, this can seemingly be a little bit quirky sometimes. And just for the record, throughout the balance of this course, I'm using US date format and US currency. So let's say that this is July the 12th, 2023. Press the tab key. All looks good so far. I can then enter in the item. So we're just going to type in product A and press tab. Quantity, let's say three. The price is $5. And the total we're going to leave for the moment because that's going to be a calculation of quantity multiplied by price. Now we haven't had too many issues there when we're entering in our data, but there are a few things that you need to be aware of. Now we're going to delve into this topic in more detail a bit later on, but notice here for the quantity and price columns, I don't really like the way that these numbers are displaying. I don't just want five in there. Maybe I want to have 5.00. That might look a bit better. Or maybe I want to have the currency symbol at the start. Well, this is where we get into the realm of number formatting. And if you go up to the home tab, you'll notice that we have a group called number where we can find all of our different number formats. And we have various different number formats in here. So general is no real specific format. We have number, currency, accounting, short date, long date, so on and so forth. I don't want to go too far down a tangent into number formatting because we have a whole lesson dedicated to this later on. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. But just to show you an example, I want the price column to show as currency. So I'm going to choose the currency option just here and you can see what we get. We get a dollar symbol and we get two decimal places. So that looks a lot better. Now quantity, that's fine. I just want it to say three. Product A, that's fine as well. But notice the difference between text and numbers. Text in a cell will always be aligned to the left of the cell. Whereas when we have a number such as the quantity just here, numbers are always aligned to the right. Notice in column C that we have our dates aligned to the right as well. Now, another little quirk that you sometimes come across when you're entering dates into a spreadsheet is that you'll type the date in and it won't look like a date. You'll get a strange number. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's say you type a date into a cell and instead of getting the date, you get a number that looks like this. 
Now again, this is related to number formatting. It just means that you have the wrong number formatting applied to the column or the cell. If you check out the number formatting that I currently have applied, it says general at the top here. And what I really want this to be is date. Now, just as a side note, if you're wondering what this strange looking number is, this is actually the number of days past the 1st of January 1900. That date is kind of day zero for Excel. And to Excel, dates are simply numbers with formatting applied over the top. So we are 45,119 days past the 1st of January 1900. So to fix this, if you do see a column of numbers that look like this, we simply just need to go in and we can apply either short date or long date format. If I was to choose long date, that's what it looks like. Most of the time, you're going to prefer to have short date. Now in column B, we have an order number. And this is one of those pieces of data where we have a mixture of different things. So we have text, but we also have numbers. Now, because text is the first thing in the cell, it's aligning it to the left as if it's text. Now, what about if I was to edit this cell, double click and remove ORD dash. Check out what happens when I do this. I'm going to remove it. So we just have 0001, press enter, Excel changes it to one. And that is an expected behavior in Excel. It always removes leading zeros. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can get around this. The most common one is people will put an apostrophe and then have their three zeros in there. And what that will do is effectively turn this number into text. And we can see that it's now text because it's aligned to the left hand side of the cell. So just be aware of that when you're inputting numbers that start with zero. Now, so far, when we've been editing and entering information into these cells, we've been working in the actual cells themselves. But it is worth noting that you can come up to the formula bar up here and you can make changes in here. So sometimes this is a bit easier because you've got quite a wide area and you can see exactly what you're typing. It's not going to run into any other columns. So I'm going to change this back to ORD dash 0001 and hit enter. So those are some of the basics of entering text, numbers and dates into cells in an Excel workbook. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.